Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for joining me, I'm Nico. Today's video is for the full moon in Scorpio. This is supposed to be a good time for culmination, uh, emotions, and romance may be heightened during this time. And it's also supposed to be good for expressing ourselves expressing ourselves and letting out our thoughts and just saying how we really feel. So we're going to be um, doing poses that help to activate the throat chakra to help to strengthen our to help to strengthen our communication and also the root chakra to keep us grounded as we move through this emotional and potentially uh, turbulent time. So let's get started in a comfortable seated position and we're going to use the Vishuddha Mudra uh, which is in line with the throat chakra, the Vishuddha chakra. So just interlace your fingers and then touch your thumbs together, kind of creating this bowl shape, resting your hands in your lap. Make sure you are sitting nice and comfortable, shoulders relaxed. We'll take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Take a second deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. One more deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. And come back to your natural breath. Releasing any control over the breath as we prepare our minds and our bodies for this full moon in Scorpio practice. Hoping to strengthen our communication and our need and desire and our ability to say how we truly feel. Take an inhale. Exhale, release the hands and rest them on the knees. We'll move into some torso circles. So starting to draw a circle with the body, hinge forward, inhale. Exhale, swing around to the back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, come back. So we'll just do a couple more rounds of this. And we'll switch directions. Doing the same thing. couple more times good come back to a neutral spine take an inhale lift the chin upward exhale bring the chin down to the chest inhale up exhale down Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, inhale up, exhale down. Come back to a neutral position. Take the right ear, let it fall to the right shoulder and to the left shoulder. Inhale, let it fall to the right. Exhale, left. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. One more time. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Let's bring our head back to neutral. We'll sweep both arms up. Inhale. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away, reaching up, breathing up. 
Exhale, twist to your right side, bringing your left hand outside of your right knee. Right fingertips point behind you, looking over to the right or over the right shoulder. Uh, inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand outside of the left knee this time. Same thing on this side. Good. Inhale, come back to center again. Exhale, release. Let's make our way up to hands and knees in a table position. Bring our big toes together, our knees wide, as we float the hips back towards the heels. Extend the arms forward. Melt the chest down for child's pose, Balasana. Resting your forehead or your chin down. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, shift your weight forward. We're going to walk the hands forward a bit. Start to melt your chest down for a puppy pose, Unashi Shasana. Keeping your gaze forward or bringing your forehead to the ground. You could stay just like this or if you want more, interlace your fingers in front of you and roll onto your left arm. So looking up under the right arm, looking over to the right. I love this stretch, like up in my upper back and my shoulders. Uh, come back down the center. Roll over into your right arm, looking up under the left. Good. Inhale. Exhale, come back down to puppy pose. Walk the hands back, and we'll rock back and forth over the wrists to stretch the wrists for a moment. Good. Come back to your table position. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back for down dog. Pressing your chest towards your thighs, your heels towards the ground. Nice flat back here. So if you need to bend your knees to make sure your back is flat, that's totally fine. Heels don't have to touch the ground. Just reach them towards the ground. We'll shift our weight from one foot to the other. And then from here, we'll take an inhale. Extend the right leg back. You can also do this down from the knees. Exhale, step the foot up in between the hands. However, you can safely get your foot up in between your hands. It works just fine. Rotate that back heel down flat. Make a line either from front heel to back heel or front heel to the inside arch of the back foot, whichever feels best. Keep that right knee bent and nice and aligned over that ankle. We'll sweep both arms up for warrior one. So square your chest with this front knee. For this warrior one, bring your hands together. See if you can lift your gaze up towards the sky. Just opening up that throat chakra here. Take an inhale. Exhale, we'll release the arms, bring them in front of you. Tuck the right elbow underneath the left elbow, bending at both elbows. Back of the hands can face each other, or you can bring the hands around to face each other and lift the forearms up in a way. So we have our arms in eagle pose arms right now, Garudasana arms. Getting a good stretch in between the shoulder blades here. Take an inhale, exhale, release the arms, shift your weight into this right foot, and we'll come to warrior three or airplane. So you can either stay more upright, lifting that left toe off the ground as we balance on the right foot, keeping the left toes close to the ground and kind of tapping it down for balance. Or if you want more, 
You can start to bring your body more parallel with the ground. You can either reach those arms behind, flex this left foot back behind you, or you can bring the hands to heart center if you like, or reach them forward. Take an inhale, exhale, lower the back foot down, bend into the right knee, left hand rest on the left leg, right arm scoops up and back for reverse warrior. Let that left hand be light on the left leg. No need to bend your elbow, reach through the arm instead. Inhale, exhale, windmill those hands down on either side of the front foot. Step the right foot back, come to plank. Let's move through the vinyasa. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, make your way back to down dog again. Taking a couple breaths here. We'll do that on the other side. So let's take an inhale, extend this left leg back. Exhale, step that left foot up in between your hands. Rotate your back heel down flat. We'll sweep both arms up for our warrior one. So square your chest with this front leg. Bring your hands together, lift your gaze. Bending into this left knee. Pressing down through the ball and the heel of your foot. Give you a little more stability here. Take an inhale, exhale, bring those arms around in front. This time, tuck the opposite elbow under and bring the hands together or the back of the hands together. So left arm up underneath the right arm. Lift those forearms up and away. Uh, take an inhale here exhale unravel the arms start to shift your weight into this left foot letting those hands come behind you palms facing downward either staying in a more upright position or lowering down bringing your body more parallel with the ground flex this back foot behind you find a focal point to help you balance inhale Exhale, lower this right foot down again. Bend it to the left knee. Sweep this left arm up and back as the right arm rests on the right leg for reverse warrior. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, windmill those hands down on either side of the front foot. Step the left foot back, come to plank. And we'll move through our vinyasa. Take an inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down halfway all the way. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Chin parallel to the floor here in your up dog. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Come to down dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take an inhale here in your down dog. Exhale, drop down to the knees, big toes together, knees wide, coming to child's pose, balasana. Extend the arms forward, melt the chest down. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Come all the way down to your belly. Keep your elbows tucked in tight here. Keep your feet as they are. So we're gonna keep the bottoms of our feet together, our knees separated. So you're kind of in this hip opening posture, maybe like this supine bound angle pose. Now you can stay just like you are here or, or this uh, prone bound angle pose rather, not supine. Um, so we're going to either stay here where we are in this prone 
bound angle variation or you can press into the hands coming up to this frog slash cobra Beka Bujangasana and this is a little bit more intense on the hip flexors on the groin I'm not that flexible in the hip flexors this way so I'm trying to incorporate more poses more frog-like poses where I can kind of get that flexibility. Uh, take an inhale. Exhale, lower the chest back down. Let's release the legs to straight. Bring the legs together. Elbows tucked in tight towards your body and push yourself back to a table position and then we'll come to a kneeling position so let those knees be close together and we'll move into ustrasana camel pose so option one for camel pose you can just rest your forearms on your lower back lifting your chest here pressing your hips forward bringing them over the knees letting the head fall back if you want more you can release the hands to the heels you can also reach the arms behind you or you could take the hands, bring them to the hips, fingers pointing downward, thumbs forward, press your elbows towards each other, lift the rib cage, bring the hips over the knees. We'll be here for a couple breaths, whichever variation you like. Inhale, exhale, keep the knees close together. Let's come down to a close knee, child's pose, letting our arms rest along our sides. Just melting down over the thighs, over the knees. Take an inhale, exhale, we'll make our way back down to our belly. And from here, start to slide your right knee up in line with your hip. Let the inside of the right foot rest on the ground. And we'll move into a twist. So bring the left hand underneath you, letting it come to the outside of that right knee. And then start to roll over onto your back. You can either cactus your right elbow or bring your arm straight. Try to get, get your right shoulder as close to the ground as possible. You can also bring a pillow underneath your knee or underneath your shoulder if you need to. Looking up to the ceiling or over to the right. Take an inhale. Exhale, come back down to your belly. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So slide that left knee up in line with the left hip. Inside of the left foot rests on the ground. Right arm threads underneath. It comes to the outside of the left knee. And we'll roll over onto our back, either cactusing this left elbow or bringing it straight. Looking up to the ceiling or over to the left. Take an inhale, exhale. Now from here, we'll roll all the way onto our back, hugging our knees into our chest, rocking side to side. So 
Squeeze your body into a ball. Inhale, hold. Exhale, release to Shavasana. Feet reach towards the bottom corners of your mat. Arms rest at your sides, palms facing upwards. Or you can come to a seated position if you prefer. Coming back to those breaths we used at the beginning of class. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Second deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And come back to your natural breath. Allowing your body to let go of any tension you're holding. And just letting yourself be fully relaxed. Allowing your body to melt down into the floor with each exhale. And while you're here, I will say some full moon in Scorpio affirmations to you, which you can repeat silently to yourself or aloud. Being honest frees me. I am allowed to be my authentic self. My efforts always culminate in success. I am worthy just as I am. I am loving towards myself and others. On your next inhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Coming back into your body and back into the room. And if you're laying down, you can roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. We'll all take a moment here to reflect on our practice. To revisit any of those affirmations. And to extend gratitude towards yourself for this act of self-care and self-love.
And when you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seat once again. And together we'll sweep the arms up overhead. Inhale, let the hands meet. Exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for this full moon in Scorpio practice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this video. Check the links in my description box about joining my channel as a member. We have a big community of members growing. As I scroll down through the comments, I see more and more of the little peace sign by your name. So thank you guys so much for becoming members. There's also a link to my DJ channel and a link for Black Yogi Nico Marie merch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.